The Boise, Boise State will be kicking kick off, off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's stopped behind the line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. He flings it. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. From their own 46 yard line. It's second down. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 46. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. He scrambled, and they got him. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boise State staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. made around the 37 yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage and they took advantage of it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds around the 46 yard line. First down. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 11. That makes it first and 10. Second down and five. Ball on the six. Three down, three down. 
Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Here's the eighth play of the series. out to his wideout, and they make the stop at the one. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. That makes it first and goal. The short yardage defense here. Touchdown, Broncos. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in the receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. On the delay, tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a that makes it second and six. Oklahoma! He makes his way to about the 38. He's at midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 48. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. Oklahoma! Nice run up the middle. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Check, check, check. Inside the 10, gets out to around the 6. Well, he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. He's going to try and scramble. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming in, but they just couldn't stop it. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. It was a seven-play, 73-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end, and down he goes. 
at the 41. their own 41 yard line second down he gets hit out of bounds right around the 46 yard line was the intended receiver on the play third down caught and this is going to be a first down and he's taken down at the 41 yard line we've got a first and 10 ball on the 41 yard line gets it he's in space and no one can get it it bounces out of bounds From the 25-yard line, first down. Mike 35, Mike 35. He's taken down at the 22. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He's got the corner. Loose football. And the ball bounces out of bounds. It's the ninth play of the drive. Yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Boise State is looking to go up by three. It's up. And he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Gets out to around the 38. Slings it. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Brought down at the 44-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. receiver and he dropped it and that'll make it fourth down the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers they get this one off and it's a beauty talk about a booming punt my goodness again it's about stressing special teams that is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. Boise State has a three-point lead. Brought down in the open 
downfield. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it so it's second down and about two yards to go. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. You don't want it. Mike 35. Mike 35. Gets to about the 11 yard line. That's a game of two. First down. And he hits him hard at the 19-yard line. That brings up second. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Check, check, check. Disco Raver. Disco. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. First down. Backs got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 34. Number 11 on the tackle at the 34-yard line. That'll make it second and four. What was that? Are you kidding? They're about four yards away here on second down. Man, that's trash. That's trash. I'm coming for you, 27. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Boise State is up a field goal. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 44. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws it deep. Almost intercepted. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Mike 13, Mike 13, down, Oklahoma! He's gobbled up in the backfield. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 17. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. So the sack makes this third and very long. Mike 13, Mike 13. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Down. Yeah. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 29. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Boise State is up by three. Quick throw. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Makes it out to about the 36. Very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow he's able to throw the ball away. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. That's a great tackle at the 45. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Knocked out of bounds at the 33. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Takes the ball inside, and they get nice yardage on that run. Now he's got room to run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. On the ground, inside. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. Right around the 48-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Has some daylight. Gets to around the 42. Makes it out to about the 29. Play of the drive. Gets his running back, and it's knocked out. Number 28 was the intended 
Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. That brings us third and 14. Hit on the throw, he caught it. And down he goes, the 33-yard line. He gets it up and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. UCLA is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Boise State holds a field goal lead. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. Just an excellent individual effort to make the play there. I have to tell you, for being so young, he looks pretty good out there at linebacker. Second and 12 coming up here. All on the 23-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's level at the 32. That makes it 33. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. and he's tackled short. He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down at the 23. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Safety with the interception. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From the 22-yard line, first down, Boise State has a three-point lead. Tackles him hard at the 13-yard line. Number 30 makes the tackle at the 13-yard line. That brings up second and one. Makes it to the 12-yard line. game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The Broncos with a three-point lead. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one two going down, on in down. quarter number two. Very good tackle in space. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. That makes it first and goal. He 
He's taken down at the seven yard line. rid of it the defense has really held their own the last two plays now it's third and goal from the seven Boise State is up a field goal great pressure on the quarterback force that incompletion Boy, they really pounded him on that throw Kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. receiver. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Boise State is up by six. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up, and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Hands it off inside, brought down. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Zips it to the back. Brought down at about the 41. get this one off and it's a beauty this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line From their own 17 yard line, second down. He makes the catch and has a first down. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 41 yard line. No 
They'll give it off here. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 37. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. To that he's met immediately that's a loss of about five well that's just a sound play by the defense they dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage that makes it fourth and nine he's gonna try to cough and corner this one booming kick Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boise State with a six-point lead. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 29 yard line. Gain of nine yards. That'll make it 31. Down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. That brings in second and nine. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Makes it out to about the 50. Tries to buy some time. Tackle at about the 49. That makes it second and 10. He scrambled. And down he goes around the 48 yard line. Third down. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Mike 13. Mike 13. He goes downtown, and he holds it in deep downfield. Kirk, that was a beautiful.
beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly, and again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point, and he adds the extra point. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's brought down in the open field. It's second and nine. Larry, Ball on the 26-yard line. Mike 35, Mike 35. Let's go. Let's go. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Complete, he's out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. They go with a toss. Makes it out to about the 49. to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 50. That makes it second and 10. From the 50, it's second down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Scrambling around. So the quarterback picks up about eight on the scramble. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Up the middle for a nice game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23. Passes it to the middle of the field. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. That'll bring up second and three. Tenth play of the drive. Cut in left, cut in left. Check pass, check pass. Come on, 16. I'm coming, 16. You go down. You mark. 794. And they get nice yardage on that block. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Boise State ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll get him for a loss. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Again with a carry. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38. From their own 38 yard line, it's second down. Here comes the pressure. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 41. Short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. He punt. No, he faked it. He makes it to the 35-yard line. the 35 yard line first down hands off to the right and is brought down to the backfield slings it he's tackled right around the 36 yard line And he's hit immediately. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. And they don't get the first. And so now the ball's turned over on down. Now they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. you got to give them credit for making a great play. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Boise State, up six. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That's a game two. That brings up second and nine. for a loss on the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Aaron and Atlong. Almost 
picked off. It's always big when you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Big stop by the defense. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 40. it on the corner. He's at the 30. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That makes it We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's on the run. Brought down at the 19-yard line. Flips it middle to the running back. Steps out of bounds at the 12. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. The kick is up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boise State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 39. Boise State holds a field goal lead. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That's a D of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. You must be getting tired of seeing me. 35 to Mike. Break out. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Mike 35. Mike 35. And he throws it away. And this brings up an interesting situation. If you have faith in your kicker, then I'd take the three points here. Otherwise, I'd probably just give it to my halfback and let him put his head down and try to get the first. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Nice run there. 
So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. Here's the eighth play of the series. Boise State has a three-point lead. Out of bounds at the 24. That'll make it second and seven. From the 24-yard line, second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He gets hit out of bounds around the 16-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Tackle made at the 13-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. From the 13-yard line, second down. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Got a man open, touchdown. He's on the receiving end for another score. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game, it usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a kick. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. And he tackles him hard at the 15. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. football. Boise State leads it 30 to 20. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither offense ran into anything that suggested any type of trouble for them in the first half, both running up and down the field pretty much at will. Did you get the sense, David, that the that the defenses were a little tentative, that they, they were a little a little shell-shocked by what had happened? And if so, what do they need to do to change that in the second half? It's hard not to get that sense when the offense just goes choo -choo -choo -choo, up and down the field, up and down the field, and has success. But, you know, it, it's interesting. If you're going to continue to give up points and you know your offense is continuing to score, why not get aggressive on defense? I mean, don't sit back. Don't let them dink and dunk. Don't let them run the football. Bring some guys up in the box. Play some man coverage. If you're going to give up points and you know you're scoring at a high clip, Go for the gusto, baby. Try to make some big plays. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're taking a look at a seasoned defender logging another huge effort. And, you know, that's really the kind of performance you want to see out of your senior leaders. Yeah, with three sacks, you might want to start chipping this guy. You know, you better use a running back, you better use a tight end, anything you can to stop that. He's got to get his teammates to help him out a little bit more, bring them back into this. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Seven, red, seven, hit! On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Just throws this one away. Some hard the 39 yard line. Number 24 on the top. First down. From their own 39 yard line. First down. Quick out to his receiver. He lost the ball. It's scooped up. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They come out on an empty backfield. And they make the stop at the 49. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 49. quickly to the fullback. Touchdown, Bruins! He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. It's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From their own 40-yard line, first down, Boise State is up a field goal. Quick throw. Knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Call a gain of 19 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. ten. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Here's the halfback. 
Yeah, they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Setting up play action. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. But well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. First and ten, ball on the 28. Pressure coming. Quick throw, and they push him out at the 19. And this play is number eight on the drive. That makes it second and two. Boise State is up by three. At the one yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Broncos. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. And down he goes, around the 28-yard line. doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat them with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Oh, excellent punt. He fields a punt at the 20, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. He's had a very good game, and he makes it look easy. He's up to 400 yards. I like the way he's throwing the football today, showing a lot of poise in the pocket. Get to that quickly. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. That'll bring up second and three.
They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He fights forward to about the 33. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Third down. Makes it to the 24. From the 24 yard line. First down. Gets out to around the 15. That'll make it second and inches. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. They'll line it up again on third down. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Kick is up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. a great tackle at the 33 yard line what impresses me so much is the guy's vision he read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage the 37-yard line. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slam. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. That makes it first and good. made right around the four-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Here, the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on a corner, or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. From the four-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a goal line set. And he's taken down around the four-yard line. Drill at the four-yard line. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Kicks away, and he got it. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boise State's offense has really been firing on all cylinders, especially here in the third quarter. Well, they got off to a good start, and they've been able to maintain that, maybe take it to a different level in the third quarter. It's going to require that for them to be able to get out of here with a win. 
The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Slings it. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. That's good for him. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Hands it to the back. Gets to about the 47-yard line. coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep those safeties better be ready it's third and five ball on the 50 yard line And they got him. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that. <laughs> Booming kick. Oh, man, he took him down hard. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Six yards there on the counter. Quickly. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. He has some room. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Down of bounds around the 44 yard line. Here's an opening. Gets out to around the 35. his way to the 26-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 26. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. in trouble what a play and that is first and goal Extra point to get within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 81 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For UCLA, they're having success rushing the passer tonight. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They also have that one takeaway. Well, when this offense does complete a pass, they're not doing that badly. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Boise State holds a field goal lead. Play fake, looking to run. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. Game two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. it all. Oh boy, almost intercepted. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He's hit and taken down. it out to about the 41 yard line. The ball pops free. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. From the 32 yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught with room to work. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws complete. He's got room to work. taken down around the five-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. converts the extra point. UCLA gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Broncos have sort of lost their perspective here in the third quarter. Great first half, and now this 15-minute stretch has not been good. They're going to have to try to refocus for the end of the ball game. I know there's social networking out there, but I, I don't know what happened at halftime. If this, this offense is reaching out to their friends, getting ready for the postgame party or what, they, they forgot there's still 30 minutes of football to be played, and right now they are on their way of losing this football game. They better turn things around in a hurry. From their own 37 yard line. First down. And he hits him hard at the 30 yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 41-yard line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Brought down right around the 24-yard line. Zips it to the back. That makes it second and eight. UCLA holds a four-point lead. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 30. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. And they'll bring him down behind the line. It's away, and it's a booming punt. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That's three down and one to go. UCLA's up by four. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. 
We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He throws it. Incomplete. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He gets to about the 41-yard line. UCLA is up four. Nice run up the middle. They come out in a five wide set. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at about the 21. He makes his way out to about the nine. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Second down, goal to go. Nine yards to the goal line. Blue 14! Blue 14! Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop it back for a loss. That makes us third and goal. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Bruins! And that throw for six gives him four touchdowns. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Quick throw to the tight end, and he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. Fires out to his wideout, and he's hit immediately. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. I said this is the They try the right side. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line.
He sails it long. This one will fall incomplete. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. It's complete, and they make the stop at the 46-yard line. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That brings up second and short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Six yard line. That's a game on the play. This is the ninth play of this drive. He makes it to the 25 yard line. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. And they're looking to get two points here. He's on the run. They got it. Fourth quarter and more than 11 minutes left. And our score is UCLA 51, Boise State 48. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He might have a chance. Makes it to the 41. UCLA is up by three. They pick up a good six yards there. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. out to around the 35. Knocked down, incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. From the 35-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 24. Gains his way to the 13 yard line. To him and he gets nothing this time around. Loss of two by the halfback. Yeah. 
We're at play number nine of this current drive. UCLA has a three-point lead. To the end zone, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Gets hit out of bounds at the 32. Number 34, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and three. their own 36 yard line it's first down zips it to the tight end he's taken down at the 40 yard line that makes it second and six Six yard line. First down. Three down, three down. I'm coming for you, 27. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. He's at the 30, and they push him out at the 23 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Throws it. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boise State is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There are some tired defenders out there right now, the way these offenses are playing. Well, they just can't keep up. These offenses are not only putting points on the board, they're doing it in a way that the defenses are back on their heels, hands on their hips. They are tired. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Decides to slide. He decides to run with it. They come out on an empty backfield. He's scrambling, and they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. So don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. UCLA holds a field goal lead. Got it and brought down immediately. Under pressure. Here's an opening at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. He started to run and saw that the field ahead of him was wide open. That's a huge play. complete and taken down immediately. Here's the give. He's tackled around the 21 yard line. Around the 14 yard line. Oh, the halfback with the carry. He's gobbled up in the backfield. No game. That makes it second. It's the ninth play of the drive. Here's an opening. Brought down at the one yard line. UCLA is up a field goal. Touchdown, UCLA. the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Boy, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback puts the ball right on the mark. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. Finds his man. First down. First down. Oh. 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike 35, Mike 35. Hey, we're heavy on the edges, heavy on the edges. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it third and one. Two times, two times. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he shoved out of bounds at the 31 yard line. That's a game of six on the play. From the 31 yard line, first down. it out to about the 31 yard line. chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. This is the eighth play of this drive. He heaves it to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown. been making himself a regular in the end zone today. That's four touchdown catches. Well, this guy's just having one of those days. I don't know if there's anybody who could cover him the way he's playing today. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. UCLA is up by three. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. And down he goes at the 26. He's going to go for the home run. That close to being intercepted. Booming kick. He's tackled at the 27. Taking the field again now is the offense. And I got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. And they make 
the stop at the 42. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 37. From the 37 yard line, it's first down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That's a gain of one. That makes it second and eight. Bring him down around the 19 yard line. That's a team of 17. First down. From the 19 yard line. First down. Zips it out and it's the tight end again. Boise State star is shining as brightly as he ever has. And it's fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two minutes in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he hits him hard at the 34. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. He's on the run. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Taken down at the 26 yard line. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. After a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. See the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. We have less than a minute to go. 
Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The Bruins using their third and last timeout. They're about four yards away here on second down. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. forward to about the 19. The Broncos know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group is, is, is just a whole should feel good about their performance. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.